Welcome back to the Dan Marino Show. You know, uh, last year we took it easy on you. You know, your first year doing the show. Right. Now we're going to put you to work this year. We're going to make you a reporter. We're going to put you on the other side of the microphone, okay? Well, I, I'm, I think I'll do okay. And, you know, and this week, uh, this past week, I even had a chance because someone cruised in the Dolphin camp, mm -hmm. and that was uh, the former Raider coach, uh, John Madden, and he was on his own personal bus. And I had a chance to interview him. John, what do you... Uh, what do you think the chances of the Dolphins are this year? So last year we had a difficult year, six and ten, but everybody's positive down here. What do you think your personal opinion of the Dolphins is? I think it's all up to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <thanks. laughs> now, I'll tell you, it's you know, it's 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 tough after a a, a bad year coming back. But the one the one thing I think where you have an advantage is is a division. I think that that it's not one of those things where there's a real dominant team, and if you had a pick the dominant team, maybe it's Buffalo, and you're going to find that, that out right off the bat. Preparing for your broadcast, do you do, you do that on your bus? Do you spend time, uh, uh, can you tell us how you prepare? Well, what I do is, is because I don't fly, uh, I started off, I haven't flown since 1979, and, and I developed claustrophobia. And so I started taking the train, and then that got to be tough, so now I have the bus, which is really the way to go. And the bus is completely self-contained. So, you know, we can eat here, sleep here, uh, shower, bathroom, bedroom, everything. So we can go right on through. And then I have everything. I mean, I have the tape machine. I have a half-inch, three-quarter-inch tape machines. So what I do on the bus is I do all the, the reading and studying. And then I get tapes of the last game. Any uh, idea how many hours you spend on the road per, y per year? Has anybody uh, kept any statistics like that? Probably more hours on the road than I spend any place else. I mean, this this is more than a than a bus. This is my home too. And when I'm on the road, I stay out. Like you know, is you always live wherever you are is the way that I feel. I've I've never been one to feel that I have to be any one place to be home. So if I'm driving, then this is my home. Do you ever have uh, any desires to still coach again? No, those, at all? <laughs> those went out the window a long time ago. In fact, I was talking to your coach today about how amazing it is and how he can stay in it. I mean, he says he just he still enjoy, enjoys it, but of of all the coaches in football, uh, there's no man that I have more respect for. And that was when I was coaching too. I always said that you know Don Shula was the best coach and the best guy, and uh, I still feel that way. And I was able to do it ten years. And after 10 years, I just didn't have any more. I just couldn't do it. John, I have my own show, and I'm trying to get good at this kind of thing. Can you give me any tips about broadcasting? Just keep doing it the way you do it. Just be yourself. That's, that's the thing, I think, that gets more people in trouble in broadcasting. And I don't mean to say I have any answers. I really don't. But as I watch people, it's where they're not being themselves. They try and be someone else. You know, they try and they're going to be a you know, a hairdo or something. And uh, I think you just have to, you know, whatever right. you are, you are who you are, and, it, and you just uh, let it go. Just don't worry about the horse being blind, just load the wagon. Don't worry about the horse being blind, just load the wagon. I can't figure that one out. <laughs> now, now, I know you were taken by that. Are we going to be looking for a Merino cruiser? No. Well, maybe uh, if I get a chance to produce and direct my own things and uh, be on national television. Maybe uh, as an announcer, I'll get my own. Uh, how did you? Okay. Well, how did you like being on the other side of the mic? Uh, I was. It's different, I think. And uh, he uh, he's very relaxed, and uh, and you know, he has a lot of fun. You could tell what he's doing. I don't know how he really can live in that bus, <laughs> but uh, it is a nice bus, and um, he. You could see that he does have a lot of fun, and I think that's the key to the key to it. Once you get over, uh, you know, the jitters of, of asking other questions. And you know what? And, and it, it really interesting me or interesting to me is the fact that I get a chance now to ask stupid questions to other guys. <laughs> well, they're not all stupid. Well, you see, <laughs> now you join the club, right? <laughs> all right. Now, I also, we told you earlier that there are going to be some new wrinkles in the Dan Marino show. And um, I understand that you are also going to be a producer and oh, a director. Yeah, I have, uh, I'm going to have my own camera. Oh, goodness gracious me. Can you imagine this? I'm going to have a chance to film you. Oh, goodness. 
everybody else. And you're going to get a chance to do some behind-the-scenes stuff for us. Oh, uh, well, we'll see. Maybe we'll see, see you, how it goes. Maybe I don't see know. you playing golf with Jensen or, uh, you know, some Maybe old that's, that's a possibility. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. We'll see how it goes. Why don't you try shooting some of the audience? And while Dan is taking I some shots shoot here. food. Okay, shoot the food. While Dan is taking his shots of the food in the audience, we will take a break and be right back to conclude the Dan Marino Show here at Bambino Doro. <laughs> 